Hello everybody and welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today and today we're going to be talking about 0.8.0 anti-aircraft and how the anti-aircraft system sort of works and why it might be driving some of you crazy. For those of you who are playing surface ships you might have noticed that sometimes your AA is able to blot things out of the sky and sometimes entire squadrons fly in, attack you, fly away, you know sometimes they fly in, attack your friendly ship and they fly away. So I want you to pay close attention to a couple things. One, you want to pay attention to the flak bursts. Two, you want to pay attention to my HP bar. So over there, you'll see two miniatures. These are full AA miniatures. They have full spec everything. Modules, captain skills, sector reinforcement, all done. Every single thing that you can possibly have for AA. Got it all. And I'm going to go in and attack them. So what you're going to see is that first I'm going to deal with the flak bursts and they're quite easy to dodge as long as you're doing a bit of a swaying motion. Of course, you enter your attack animation, you're pretty much immune for a little bit. After that phase, as long as you're not getting hit by the black AA flak, the majority of the damage I'm going to take, you'll see, is going to be coming from the continuous DPS. And with Minotaur, the continuous DPS is actually quite high. And the way the continuous DPS works is it just applies damage to a whole section of aircraft in the squadron of nine that I had. And as I go in for the attack, you'll notice that my planes start to go from green, and then it goes yellow, 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 sort of one at a time, and then it goes red, 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 and then planes start getting shot down. But you'll notice that during my initial attack wave, the A spec miniature couldn't actually kill any planes until after my attack run was finished. Now, the second run, of course, you might not want to go after the Minotaur again unless you were able to heal back up because the DPS would have been able to shred your planes. The second attack, of course, I'm doing it against the Minotaur's Section AA that isn't reinforced, and you'll notice the damage is quite a bit less, and I'm able to get in without taking too, too much harm. So now that I've sort of explained it, I'm going to show it to you again with another Minotaur, equally spec the same way the same full AA spec, the same sector reinforcement, and you'll see much the same story. A large proportion of where the damage is actually going to be coming from is from that mid-range AA. If I do accidentally run into a flak burst, of course there is going to be damage that's going to be taken there, and it will be actually quite extreme, but you'll see that the majority of it is going to be caused by that mid-range aura. Alrighty, so I've got another squadron up, and I'm going to go after the other Minotaur. And you're going to notice it's a very similar pattern. The long-range stuff isn't really going to do much. The flak bursts aren't going to do much. But as soon as that continuous DPS starts chipping in, then it's quite a bit of damage that I'm going to start taking. You'll see my HP go down pretty quickly. And then I'm going to be able to drop. And then, by the way, when my planes go back up, there's actually a period of time there where my planes aren't actually taking damage. They're basically having an invincibility frame, if you want to think about it that way. So there we go. You'll see my HP start going down, at first not a lot, and then there, mid-range AA, and you see that HP just starts falling, 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 but no planes are getting lost, because you'll see the damage sort of getting spread out, right? And there we go, you'll see most of my planes here, see that, yikes, kind of in trouble, but the black flak bursts, nothing really causing issues here, right? Of course, this will also allow me then to turn my planes back around and make another attack run, assuming that the Minotaur's AA in this other sector isn't reinforced. If it is reinforced, probably a good idea not to do it, right? So individually, a fully specced AA cruiser is unable on the first attack wave to defend itself. Attacks will get through. They are going to be able to do damage. It's only on the retreat or on the second pass would a full AA cruiser be able to start bringing down a few planes. This is a really terrifying thing if you think about it, right? Because if this is what happens to a full AA cruiser, imagine everybody else, right? So how does this impact gameplay? Well, the only way for squadrons to really take a lot of a beating in terms of, you know, on the attack run start losing planes, and even then the attack will most likely get through, um, is if you have multiple AA ships very, very close together. We did a couple of experiments where we, you know, wanted to see what situations would have planes melting. And we needed two full AA miniatures, one full AA rooster, all AA sector reinforced to the side where the planes are approaching, and the rooster with defensive fire on. And only then were we able to get the aircraft, you know, squadrons just melting from sheer DPS, but not from the flak bursts. Because the flak bursts are very dodgeable. Once you learn how they function, you can dodge the flak burst no problem. 
What then you have to really you know sort of pay attention to is what is the continuous DPS that's coming out from the AA cruisers. And even here, both miniatures, you'll notice that my plane HP is bleeding a lot faster, but that's attack still got through, right? I am going to lose the rest of the squadron right there. And this is kind of where that F key uh, escape basically would come from. Because after that attack run, you would basically want to press the F key and retreat back to your carrier. So there are some interesting implications from this A system, which is one, you're basically never stopping an attack if your continuous DPS is insufficient because the flak A, unless the CV player is just running straight into them, really doesn't do anything, right? Um, you can see it. The, the, the black flak A, that's avoidable, but it's the continuous DPS that's ripping my squadron out of the sky, but even then, still able to get my rockets through. And in this case, you'll see there's quite a few survivors. If I press the F key, they'd all come back. So for those of you out there who are like, hey, my A doesn't work, what the heck is going on? My A is a lie. Well, this video should explain it to you and you should understand what is going on now. Anyways, folks, have a good one. Take care. And I'll talk to all of you again soon.